Boogie, drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talking. If everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes, remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, and let me know what you think. Now, when I heard that Maurice Scott from Love and Mary Tunsville had gotten himself arrested, I thought somebody had dug up his alleged arrest record that was supposedly had been expunged. But when I seen the arrest had just happened just today, I have to admit that I was a bit surprised because I thought that it would have ended up being Marceau getting arrested or, you know, or having a DUI before anybody else on Love and Marriage Huntsville would have had one. Um, not that I'm wishing any harm or, you know, trying to, you know, you know, wishing any type of, um, you know, harm or negative on anyone. But the way Marceau is always on live with a drink in his hand, I I wouldn't have been shocked had it been Marceau versus Maurice. But any anyway, it was Maurice. You know, Maurice, the person that prides himself on never being arrested. He's gone and gotten himself arrested now. You know, the lawyer that thinks so highly of himself and always saying that um, he's a pretty good lawyer who practiced cases all over, you know, none that we've actually seen or heard about, but so he says. But anyway, he's kind of gotten himself a DUI. Now, I'm not laughing at the fact that he was arrested because I know that laughing is catchy. And I don't need none of the, the negative drawbacks of the Scots bad luck coming my way because I do believe in karma. But for Maurice to get himself arrested, it tells me that he's not as smart as he think he is. It tells me that he is, in fact, the clown that we all thought he was. Because for him to be a lawyer that is already facing a $105 million lawsuit and that got the network that he works for involved in the $105 million lawsuit as well. And then he goes and add more problems, more legal allegations against himself. It's like, this is bad. But how is he supposed to represent himself in all of these lawsuits if his license could possibly... Um, be coming under revocation or some type of suspension. And not to mention that I thought he was supposed to be handling a lawsuit brought against Marceau as well. But I guess, I guess Marceau and Tisha better go head on and call him a real lawyer because in the words of Kimmy, Maurice ain't that kind of lawyer and he may not be able to practice law for a, a little bit or, you know, Probably until this, uh, these allegations or this arrest is cleared up somehow. But Maurice, you know, he was up there trying to accuse the millimeters of ruining his reputation and trying to assassinate his character. But I think he's doing a pretty fine job all by himself. And we're going to give him all this credit, every last bit of it. Let him get all, soak in all of this credit. Because this is definitely one incident that Maurice has managed to get himself in, involved in all by himself. He is the only person ruining his, his character as a husband by embarrassing his wife, as a father not wanting to take care of his son, and now as a lawyer by getting a DUI. Marcel, I mean, Maurice could have called an Uber, a Lyft, or, you know, he could have called a cab. Heck, he could have called his wife. You know, once he realized that he had too much to drink, he could have, it, it was other, op, he had other options. But, you know, him being a know-it-all, he, he decided to drive anyway. That's why we're going to give him all this credit 
for ruining his reputation because the Mr. Like I said, the Mr. Know it all, you know, he's not as smart as he think he is. You know, he didn't think that somebody could have gotten, uh, you know, could have gotten harm due to his actions. It's like, what was he thinking? Because, I'm sure somewhere while he was in law school, there were, you know, cases that came up that they probably reviewed or did mock trials on regarding this type of situations, you know, uh, situations that involve DUIs and stuff like that. But either way, whether he did or didn't, um, as a lawyer, I'm sure he knows what's to come of his actions and the trouble that he has caused himself and you know that he is going to have to go through some some pretty hearty uh hearty steps to um you know regarding this DUI arrest but I guess I guess now Maurice finally got a storyline I, I I guess he got Something that he can actually use that's authentic for Love and Mirror Churchville. Something that may even be interesting to watch. Because I'm sure that somebody somebody might want to see how the lawyer goes to court to fight his way out of a DUI arrest. All while being reprimanded by the Huntsville Bar Association versus seeing him embarrass his uh sick wife battling cancer going through chemo um and all while having to roll over and have sex with him but i wonder did carlos send the love and mary Tunsfield camera crew to the jail to capture his arrest or um maybe if they didn't catch the arrest maybe they was able to catch the release like they did Martel. I mean, they might as well because regardless of what they say, they can ignore it or whatever. It's already uh, plastered all over social media. So no matter how hard they try, they, they, they can't run from this and they can't spend this arrest. And the fact that there has now been, ooh, what is it? Not one or two, but three arrests this just this year alone from the love and mirror tunsfield cast because what maurice i mean uh, i'm sorry uh first you had martel then you had destiny and now you got maurice that's th uh and the season is just beginning and it's like from january to may y'all didn't they didn't have three arrests so yeah this this is the stuff that they need to be talking about on love and mirror tunsfield and not that other junk and just like Carlos kept showing Kiki on Crime Stoppers all last season and, you know, and how bad he grilled Kiki on the reunion, I'm going to need Carlos to keep, uh, to start running Marie, uh, Maurice uh, arrest, Destiny arrest, and, um, you know, Martel arrest. So uh, or conviction because Martel was actually convicted, but yeah, I'm a gonna I'm gonna need Carlos to start running their arrests and convictions all throughout the scenes or the episodes of Love and Mary Tunsfield, and I want I want to see if he gonna grill Maurice about his DUI, um, this reunion because he is a officer of the court. So I'm quite sure that his DUI is going to be taken very seriously. And I believe, and I'm quite sure that he's going to have to, he, he's going to face some consequences behind this. I mean, and I, and you know, maybe not because it's his first, it's his first arrest and his first DUI that we know of. But I'm quite sure that it's not, I don't think it's going to be just, uh, swept under the rug because like I said, he is officer of the court and he should know better. He's a lawyer. So I wonder, um, will they take steps to, um, suspend his, his law license or what will, what will come about? And that's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.